Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigil here, welcome back to our video and welcome back to trying different things on Blue Beetle. As usual with the recent videos, I'm going to show you at first the Blue Beetle fight and if you want to stick around for the rest of the video then you're more than welcome to. But here we have Joker as veterans on Blue Beetle at level 10. This artifact will provide him with a lot of fast attack hits and with him being able to also break the cap, this should be even better on him in theory. And in regards to breaking the cap, he seems to be a bit bugged at the moment, to the point where sometimes he does break the fast attack hits cap, sometimes he doesn't. Because by default, this is not broken. The fast attack cap is not uncapped, as you can see. We have 2 plus 3 equals 4 here, and it's max reach because 4 is the cap. But uh, how you're supposed to break the cap is uh, by using the third special and doing it uh, after you have already done super move for some reason for it to, to work efficiently or that's what i've heard i have pop at level 10 on brainiac and pop it at level uh, one on classic wonderman yeah let's uh, let's get this going might stack or might not stack with brainiac i'll, I'll see how i feel about it maybe a few lethal stacks in there because Blue Beetle is not really going to use energy, and yes, I know I should use Special 1 at the start. I just forgot the previous two fights, because Special 1 is going to provide you with a class advantage against the opponents, and you just have to use it once, and you, you get that. You get a class advantage, so that's great. The main reason why I don't think I like him with uh, Joker as bat ranks is that his special animations suck. There's absolutely no special animation in Blue Beetle's kit that you can combo and drop afterwards because all of them get you far away from the enemy. Though with Joker as veterans, I'm stacking the damage buff part of his passive a lot faster. I think I can tank this, no problem. Yep. But yeah, the damage side of things is stacking like crazy. Because it stacks for each fast attack hit I do, and I do a lot of fast attack hits with four. Look, let's give this a try. Let's use the third special here. Okay, okay, let's chill a bit. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. It's not the best opponent to fight here. But yeah, the cap seems to be broken now. Now I get seven of them. We have all the super move to get that done as well now i need to use specials to activate the joker as bad ranks problem is i don't like any of their animations got a bit lucky here I got lost there, I got lost in the combo, I did not know at which point in the combo I was at that moment. Yet again, this man is not the best opponent to fight. Mm, I don't know man, seems to still be capping here. I mean it's not capping, it's giving me S. So, the third special is supposed to give me 3 fast seconds when I'm fully evolved. And we were at 4 plus 3, that's 7. Only thing is, it only unlocks the fast attack hit cap for the uh, bonus that he gives you. It doesn't unlock it for other things, because for example, because I have Joker at veterans here, which should, in theory, so this doesn't work on any character except for Marshmander for some reason, give you three fast attack hits. 
it stops at giving me two and then it does bypass the cap but it doesn't break it for the artifact too this is something that gets added on top of it above it and i'm not really sure how this interaction works when you're not hitting the cap already with our artifacts and yeah joker is better is not the artifact for him like this is this is not that great for him He's already got a lot of fast attack hits, and so far, honestly, the best result was... I mean, it was Splint Blade plus Raven, but... I was really happy with how Dark Mel cards worked on him, actually. I want to try that with Raven tomorrow. But yeah, it was not terrible, considering that he's only 3 stars. And the only passive stat artifacts I gave him were a level 8 puppet and a level 1 puppet. Like, that's really not a lot. That's really far away from peak situation for him and I did a few mistakes against this man but I don't think Jokra's better ranks are the artifact for him though so we might see I might be wrong about this well we'll see how it goes okay let's move on with the rest of the fights okay so here I'm gonna fight Flash I have Raven with uh, the uh, sort of sim I got King with uh, Beta Club and I got Power Girl with uh, the Puppet of Zatanna yeah, we're gonna have to deal with Chaos Tekken and he disables a special, I'm not sure which one, I think the special 2 or special 1. Either way, we should be fine. Okay, it's special 1 disabled, that will slow down the darkness generation of Raven, but we should still be fine. Up there. We're gonna start stacking darkness, I wanna get Power Girl killed first. We can stack King passive, because that doesn't expire if we don't refresh it, that's fine. Okay, not Raven tagging. I really don't want to use specials with Raven because I want that when Bargold to get tagging and this man to have enough power to kill her. And if I start power draining with Sword of Sin, that's not gonna happen. We got the King tagging now. That's that's amazing. Can, can I get Bargold tagged in? Like I would really appreciate that, buddy. Could get the Power Girl tagging. There we go. There we go. Can you can you kill her now? Or will it take more than one tagging? Okay, this is not looking great. We'll need to tag in once more. Yet again, it's fine. We should be able to do a lot of damage here anyway. Might as well do a bit of darkness stacking. Actually, I would want to get King tagged in now, but we get Power Girl into a flash that has no power to kill her. That's great. Boy, do, do I love Chaos Tag and it, it has to be everybody's favorite modifier in the game. Oh, he, he actually got her. He actually prolonged her tagging because he was the special. Great job, Flash. We're gonna lose Darkness though, it's okay, that's irrelevant. We're gonna stack it back up. We have plenty of time. If for darkness tag, that's absolutely great for a uh, tagging and kills tagging. Okay, 58 mil. That's that's looking good. Save up for a super move too, maybe with King. He managed to reset darkness there. That's great. And get it to five darkness because we were at four. Yeah, this is over. This is over for Flash. It does not stand a chance. There we go, that's Flash down. Let's move on to, I think, Boss Supergirl. Don't remember what that was about. Okay, so here we have uh, Batman the Drowned with Scott here at level 10. And I have uh, Robin King with Puppet at level 8 and John Sir Green Lantern with Puppet at level 1 to give me a bit more passive stats. And we're gonna try to take on boss Supergirl. He's got uh, crit resistance and fortifieds, though Robin King should be able to take care of crit resistance and we don't really care about fortifieds. Because I'm not gonna do physical damage to her, normal damage to her, I'm gonna do hazard dot damage to her.
Okay, now we should start actually critting. Yep. Let's get back into passive. Also get the stacks up. Okay. Robin King do some percentage of damage here. And you can also tank the super move if you if you feel like it. Okay, that's fine. There was no way she dealt a lot of damage to me. Is that here two balls? Even if I didn't have got here stacks on her, I don't think that super would have been hurtful. Okay, so far so good. And yeah, that's that's gonna be the fight. Easy clean up here by the Batman John team. Lovely job. I remember finding that boss a lot more annoying when I didn't have Robin King. I tried to clear this man with Separator Batman with Puppet level 8. Harley with Dark Metal cards. And then EPI with uh, Puppet level 1. I'm not sure if I have the damage here because this is a lot less passive stats than this team is used to having. But we're gonna see how that goes. We're just going to save up for super move. Not the best tag and cycle here, because Harley had uh, enough for super move a bit before I did super move. Special tune there. Let's get going. Okay, that's the blinds. The next negative effect is guaranteed to miss because it's gonna be the tag out disabled. That's no longer existing since the last update. And in here I've hit every single negative effect so far. Let's see if we get the damage against target, which is the only one that matters. Yep, I got it. That's great. Okay, so let's do a few special twos here to speed up the process towards the next damage against target negative effects. This should be uh, blind now. And it got me into infinite power, which is not ideal. Because now I'm going to have to wait a bit before I can use the special 2 again, because I didn't have energy. Okay, and this should be damage against targets. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna be fine here. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to the boss, I think. Okay, so here we have Mr. Freeze with Bait Club, we got uh, Zatanna with Puppet of Zatanna at level 8, and Vixen with level 1 Puppet. What I'm gonna try and do here is get into infinite power with Zatanna and uh, cycle between... Um, 
Mr. Freeze and Zatanna to kind of get a lot of damage against targets, negative effects on the enemy. Let's back up a bit here. Great job, Zatanna. You managed to not get any free specials there. Not put any debuffs on the enemy. Okay, we got the infinite power already, somehow. I mean, it's, it's the beta club, that's how, because that's two free negative effects, basically. Okay, let's take Vixen, I don't... Okay, this, this would have been fine. What I was gonna say is that I don't remember how much damage exactly uh, Wonder Woman did. Okay, we might as well super move with Mr. Freeze here. And let's push her to the corner. Spamming this. Okay, that's perfect. We want Zatanna to break the freeze and then freeze the enemy again before Mr. Freeze tags in. Bro, chill, chill, calm down. Get back, get, 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 get frozen again, will you? Okay, we got the 20 mil still. Uh, not the best value, okay, we'll at 26, I think we got another damage against target here. Getting some freezing problems over here. That's a bad bot value we left at. Yeah, I kind of messed up here. Okay, we got the salt twenty mil again, but yeah, we might fill the one shot here. Well, it's fine. I can clear this with something else. Went well enough for the most part, I guess. We're gonna have 126 mil to deal with. And I'm gonna clear here with Manta, Joker as Batrings. Gonna have the um, Green Lantern with the level 8 puppet for uh, the shields and passive stats, and then Bane as well. The so Green Lantern gives me the shield that allows me to easily combo and chop her. And with that amount of health, most likely it will last me until I kill her. Though we'll see. Okay, she's not doing that much damage to the shield, so that's good. It's great that she doesn't have a reflective shield. Lovely design decision here. He tag Manta out, I don't want him to lose the shield. Thanking that super move. Not worth doing my own super move. Let's use the power I have accumulated to... Oh, that's bad. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Yeah, this fight will take longer. I mean, I'll still kill her. I'll, it will take longer. Still... Oh! I actually triggered infinite power by mistake. That's not good. But yeah, I thought she was in the corner, but she wasn't, so instead of being still close to her after I did the special 2, I pushed her to the ground. And that makes mess things up. 
can attack Bane for a bit of power generation because he still got the shield, so we don't need to combo and chop. Our third special. Doing two full strings. I have entered in the safety mode with Manta, basically, this the safety mode gameplay. And it basically comes down to just don't let the enemy hit Manta. Is that simple? Okay, we got our stand again, and we got poison active again. There we go. Let's take a look at the rewards that we got here. Oh wow, we we got uh, dead shot and uh, the manipulative tag. That's that's truly amazing. Okay, so if anybody thought that I uh, had too easy of a life against Flash because I had Raven uh, King Bait Club, you're in luck because on the secondary camp we're gonna fight this man again. We're gonna take the slow approach to this, which is first of all dealing some percentage health damage, then going in for going in for the cleanup with I think Batman the Drowns. We'll see how this fight performs, how well this performs. That kind of dictates if Batman the Drown is gonna be enough. My bad here. Though it's fine, I don't mind Destro getting damaged. I think two Tagans of Black Adam will be necessary here. To get all his percentage health damage done. Come on, can you use a special on me? I don't want you using Super Novain Time Zone. That's perfect, that's wonderful. I don't even care, I didn't block it. That kinda sucks. Can I, can I start combo on you, sir? There we go. But yeah, one more tag and will be necessary, Black Adam. And I don't mind that for getting damaged. I actually want him to, because we want to summon the clones, but I'm gonna kill anyway by using special twos here. So that's kind of irrelevant for now. My bad here. That was 1000% my mistake. Of course, the, the classic back up into a jump attack. Bro, can I do anything? Oh, he's done with percentage shell damage. Let's get him killed as soon as possible. So he doesn't cycle anymore with that stroke. That stroke should be about done too. I'm sorry, I forgot to close the browser. And you're hearing a WhatsApp notification. Okay, we got that man killed. Okay, I don't mind he blocked, because we were out of uh, percentage shell damage anyway on base death stroke. We need to get the clones in there. And with Flash, it's just blocking with the clones. You can't back off from him. You can't combo and chop him with the clones. We just block and survive as much as we can. Okay, get close, get close, because he can, he can trigger that special one real fast if you're far away enough. And he's kind of getting himself far away enough. Okay, super move, gonna get an Arc Clone tagged in there. And yeah, I don't think we have the time to generate power for another second special before we get tagged out, yep. Yeah, that's as far as this goes, and I don't think he's low enough to kill with Batman the Drowns. So it might need a little bit more health. Yeah, whatever I'm doing now is pointless. I'm not gonna deal any more relevant damage with a gearless Deathstroke. Oh wow, guys, look at that. We did we did 100k damage with that third special. That for sure hurt him. Okay, what's the situation here? Oh, 700? Yeah, that's not doable with Batman the Drowned yet. Here we have Zatanna and Battle Collapse. I'm gonna have the level 1 puppet actually on Zatanna and the level 6 puppet on Battle Collapse. That's um, because I don't really want to get into infinite power with Zatanna because I want to ideally deal her percentage health damage and then get tagged out, get killed, so I don't get constantly tagged out. So we're not actually gonna attempt to trigger puppet here. It's only there for passive stats. Uh, 
I'm not gonna worry at all about Ben Blaf's percentage health damage until Zatanna's dead. I'm gonna use the third special here. Apply a bit of burning. Special 2. We got a free special 1, that's just wonderful. For sure that's gonna be useful. Okay, I wouldn't want the super move to be done on Battle Collapse. Can that? No, it can't. Oh, it's fine, it barely did any damage. I kind of wasted power using that special. I was trying to prolong the tagging so that they get tagged out before he did super move, but that was kind of pointless. Again, Battle Collapse not doing much here. Just chilling. Oh, we got a blind effect applied on him. That's that's pretty good. Okay, Zatanna, let's let's finish this, okay? You've been wasting a lot of time here. Okay, the burning was not applied there, so we get applied again by the puppet. That's that's good. I guess I can use a special two here again. Oh, and we triggered infinite power by mistake, actually. And that's got Zatanna to zero. Okay, you know what? Kill Zatanna, please. Please, she's starting to piss me off. Kind of hard without specials, I know, but that's the best we can do for now. You know what? Get me in final form. Might as well start doing some percentage health damage to this man. He's blinded, so Zatanna's just not gonna die. So we might as well use the third special here. Why well, I really want to get the Tana killed is that you see that we activated final form, right? And as soon as he tags in, he's out of final form. If I get infinite power though, I could be spamming the specials with Battle Claps a lot more and getting myself into infinite power. I mean, if I get into infinite power, I can spam the specials out more and get myself into final form. That's what I meant. Okay, we're in final form. Let's let's deal some damage here. Yeah, I guess killing Zatanna was never on the menu to begin with. Uh, and how much is there left? Doable, I think, with Batman Joe. I think this is doable, though you have to factor in the characters dying. If you're like, for sure, Batman Drone's gonna do that much damage. Uh, but uh, usually, you don't have two characters that are gonna be in the fight to give you uh, passive stats, since they're passives, and then you want them to die. And uh, very fast, that calculation you made in your head previously is now invalid. Because those characters dying are going to take up a lot of time. Okay, so I'm going to give this man the level 1 puppet. Because he's got the higher level. And on the secondary account, I purposefully kind of kept um, Classic Wonder Woman at level 1. Which has the least amount of health possible. We're going to give her the high health. Uh, I mean, the stat it's irrelevant. But what am I even talking about? The stats are splitting equally, so it doesn't matter who gets what artifact. Uh, but yeah, Batman Drone with got there here. Where is it? There we go. And we should not hit the enemy at all. This Scott here decreases attack. Decreased attack means uh, he's gonna kill my characters slower. And we don't want that. Okay. Go ahead and kill me. So far so good, you're doing a great job, keep up, keep at it. Come on, one more combo. Perfect into a special, absolutely great. Not enough to kill her, but it was a valiant effort. Come on, you built a lot of combo on this man. Okay, we're, we're getting there. I can't hit him with Batman the Drown because I'm gonna decrease his attack. Like, not even one hit. Just chill. Pull him back off with its super move, that's that's great in itself. That's something that needed to be done anyway. No, not on battle. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's a perfect tag out. 
Um, I'm still not sure if I should hit him. Because Green Lantern is kind of low on health, but... Never underestimate by how much the gut here actually reduces the attack. Okay, perfect. I mean, not that perfect. We could have gotten a better time, but... At least we're here now. And yeah, I don't think we kill him, actually. Looking at the speed at which his health is going down, and we're not gonna get much more... We're not gonna get at all more damage than this. This is big damage, we're gonna get... A few more full duration activation, maybe a third one that's gonna last like a couple of seconds. I'm not sure that will be enough. And by I'm not sure, I kinda know for sure that will not be enough. Okay, my boy, my boy Flash here being a lot more problematic than I thought. Though it's okay, we can spare one more team. Because we still hit the goal if we kill him in one more fight of having... King plus Raven with Twin Blades fighting one fight and League of Arcade fighting another fight. Those are the main two teams that I really don't want to get into using for cleanup. If we can manage that, it's, it's not going to be too bad. Okay, we're getting one more activation, but that's gonna last like 8 seconds or something like that. Yeah, exactly 8 seconds. Okay, how much is there left? Okay, that's 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 really doable. That's absolutely doable, actually. I guess if you have Black Adam with level six puppet and level one puppet uh, Power Girl, not having access to special one kind of sucks on Black Adam, but it's fine. We should still be able to get into infinite power, especially with the Power Girl health reduction. Just need to get her killed, and after that, everything is gonna be fine. And yeah, I can't combo and chop him with Black Adam, but Black Adam is different. Black Adam, Batman, Jack Catwoman, and uh, Joker characters, I think, are kind of the best characters in the game at combo and chopping enemy. And with those, I feel a lot more confident against, like, anything. Uh, I don't really feel like using specials. Because I want him to have both power. And not his attack reduced by my special tier. Oh! Boy, why are you keeping me for ages in the goddamn fight? That poor girl should have been tagged in ages ago. Okay. That super was a mistake, since I'm gonna activate Puppet eventually, hopefully. I would have been able to do it for free. Okay, we've got two negative effects, a third negative effect, and now, bam, infinite power. And hopefully we are able to keep this up until he dies. It should not be that far off, actually. I didn't have much health to begin with. The setup was most likely more than it will take to kill him. Come on, buddy. Almost there.
Come on, buddy. 30 seconds left. Come on. We triggered the infinite power. Come on. There we go. I was starting to get scared for a moment there. But that's uh, that's Flashdown. Look, it's not much of a difference between the main account and this account here. It only took four fights on the main account. It took one. Against both Sondremen, I'm going to use uh, Prater Batman with puppets. Harley with Dark Metal cards. And DPA with level one puppet. Yeah, there's no way I one-shot this. I'm not trying to. I'm hoping to take her to half health so we can pick up the pace uh, with something else tomorrow. Back up here. Early super move. Uh, I, I think that might have been a mistake. Okay. Okay, she's alive. She's alive. I didn't even check how much power she had. Because you do get into a routine with this team. And since you're attacking in and out a lot, there's absolutely no way the enemy is going to have power for super move when you do have power for super move. There's no way that happens at the same time because you're tagging in and out a lot and here you've got a modifier that increases her power generation so I forgot about that thing. Yeah my bad. Thankfully Carly's still alive. This is the one in like 50 fights where I'm glad I got defense on Harley. They don't even have some defense for this purpose if they're surviving 1 in 50 fights when I'm dumb like this. I have uh, that on her so that she gets buffed by classic Wanderer and so it was not even for that purpose, but it was helpful here. So we got damage against targets. We should try to cycle back to it. Ready the burning. It should be two negative effects away. This should be blinds or a miss. And this should be uh, the uh, miss guaranteed because the damage, the attack of disabled is no longer there. And now this should be damage against targets. Which I think missed. Or did it? No, it didn't. That's great. Okay, so this should be a blind, this should be a miss. And on the next thing we're gonna get damage against targets again. Hopefully. Okay, I think we have it active. I, I definitely I'm definitely sure we have it active. Yeah, like I've I haven't been tracking the negative effects, like the order that they are set in for a long time, but it seems to actually help a bit. To be aware of when to expect the damage against target, if of course it's not gonna miss. Which it didn't, thankfully. Okay, this actually did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Not bad. And for last fight, a bit of a change of plan since I don't have any optimal targets for Twin Blade King. Though here the only problem is the crit resistance. Actually, we do have a target for Twin Blade King. Because I can just equip Twin Blade here on King. Then I can go ahead and put the Dark Mal cards on Raven. And yeah, I got the question about Dark Mal cards why the lower level one is recommended when you actually want to make use of the Dark Mal cards to. Um, Bypass the crit resistance. So I'm gonna answer that real quick. So you see this resets every 24 seconds. I mean it's not that accurate, it can reset randomly. But this resets every 18 seconds, for example. And the higher you go on level, the faster it's gonna reset. And resetting means if your character with Dark Mal cards is not in the fight, straight up disappearing. Now what did they do this? Because the people who designed the artifacts sadly don't really play the game or are not that good at the game and they're unaware of the fact that actually 
most of the fight is spent in the right corner. That's where you want to keep the enemy. So they thought since you should be dashing around the battlefield or however they play the game, the people who designed this artifact, it's going to be more beneficial for you so it resets, so it, it follows you a bit faster, but that's not how your game works, I'm sorry. So that's why a lower level Dark Malachard is actually recommended for the purpose of bypassing threat resistance. I need to generate a lot of power since King has special 2 disabled. And we can only rely on the third special to properly build King passive. That means we're gonna need to do a lot of third specials with King. And Seed can randomly reset, which happens, but still you're better off using the lower level Dark Metal cards for threats. Oh boy, King is definitely taking his time reaching full stacks. Okay, we can tank this. As a super move here, and we need to get his ass back in the corner because that's where we want Dark Metal cards to drop from Raven. Weirdly enough, he doesn't seem to have that much threat resistance, because I was bypassing it nicely enough. Oh! I'm so stupid. I lost Raven Darkness. What did that even happen? My bad, I, I just I just straight I guess I just straight up forgot about it. Yeah, definitely my bad here. To tag in Raven, to reset the darkness. Yeah, I lost a lot of damage because of that darkness reset. Not sure if I would have killed him if that didn't happen, but yeah, definitely my bad there. But y'all being said, thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!